Hi, thanks for watching this video. Today we have here a rather old fashioned looking Lego set. This is the Galaxy Explorer, which is a reinvention of a set from 1979, also celebrating 90 years of Lego. And if you look up here, it says 18 or over. This can only mean this must be one of those highly sophisticated interlocking brick systems that must only be used in a mature and responsible way. But let's turn this over and have a look where you can see the scale of things. That's quite big, that's around 32 centimeters wide and 52 centimeters long. But for $89.99 here in UK, that's not a bad size for something of that price. But let's have a look at what there is. There's four minifigures, and all four can fit in the cockpit. I don't know what the story is here, but I can only assume. One Mr. Red and Mr. White might be the good law-abiding Space Corps Directive following citizens. And the other pair, like that sinister looking Mr. Red hiding in the back there. Looking like he's definitely up to something. They must be the evil versions of themselves they picked up from the parallel universe. Exactly the type that'll hijack your rocket boosters, steal your ship, and chase you away with their vintage blasters. Or they could all just be good mates out having a laugh. Anyway, let's have a look inside. There's quite a few bags. I can see a little face there. The old fashioned simple smile. Nostalgic feeling when you see plastic this colour. And I suppose this sort of thing can only be appreciated by some people really. And for the colour palette of this spaceship, they've tried to use only the colours that were available in 1979. Anyway, there we are, there's nine bags in total. And of course the instruction book. There's some good information inside about this Galaxy Explorer and also the original one. There's some other classic space stuff there on the next page and also a little bit of history and timeline of the space minifigures. The first batch of colourful astronauts, originally only red and white, appeared in 1978. I've never seen that one, a statue, 2009. And we can see in 2022, this is the return of the original 1978 red and white astronauts. And I do have a few minifigures in my pocket, one of which is a 2014 green astronaut. We've got Benny there, we all know from the 2014 Lego movie. I'll show you the rest of them at the end of the video, the final build. There's some design history there, but here we get to the start of the instructions as we can see bag one to four the first half five to nine the second half now it's quite a big book but it's not too hard to follow anyway here we go i'm not going to build this from scratch on video this set will probably see another 90 years anniversary before i finish that instead here are the stages and as you can see on the third stage some of the features on top are starting to appear and on goes that glass with the last minifigure and that little cargo bay at the back the little space for the space rover there's a tail end and of course the little space rover itself and we're done These elevating feet, they were a nice surprise. They give the ship that extra little bit of height to stop it looking so flat. And these removable rocket boosters are a strange addition from the original. And just a reminder to all the space villains out there, never to ride rocket boosters without proper heat shields. Not to give you a little tour of the back end. I didn't look up any reviews before I bought this, so I didn't know what to expect, or whether that was worth the money. But that was quite a nice surprise to see some of these little neat features appear during the build. And these doors just slide across. Inside you get that lovely glow from them retro yellow windows. There is something nice about looking through doors and windows of all your Lego builds, just pretending you're a Lego minifigure, and just forgetting about things for a bit. But anyway, this is how she opens up. All aboard. And there's one Mr. Red there, sleeping it off. Better close him up there so he doesn't get a headache. And there she is, LL928 like the original, LL stand for Legoland. All the decals are printed on, there's no stickers. But here's that drinks dispenser robot. This is one of those creations they thought was so futuristic back in the day, like when people said you'd get a robot doing all your ironing and things like that. <laughs> Great days. But before we finish this video, let's just have a look at our space crew. These are some of the minifigures I've collected through the years. We've got a Looney Tunes Martian there. There's another old Mr. White at the back. Got a little robot spaceman there and our green spaceman. I think that was from the Nexo suit. Here's the old man. He's so old that normal Lego minifigures legs don't fit. They weren't invented back then. So he's got fake legs and that trademark split helmet, which they tried to reproduce on Benny from the Lego movie. We've got a space Batman there. He's from one of the Lego minifigure series. And as we get to our more modern Lego minifigures, we've got some ladies and gents with a little bit more detail. And I just found my lost Mr. Yellow. He was hiding away again. There we go. 
and one more time. I don't think you need to be 18 to have this set, but I do think the 18 rating can be justified because it does need to be appreciated by builders who were there at the time of the original or just older builders who got to notice the progress of LEGO over the years and then just to be reminded of that really good feeling when you got to open sets like this with these actual pieces in them. This is meant to be a nostalgic set and they've added all these little modern features and it does seem like a very special set too. But that is it, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to keep updated on more videos and I'll see you in the future.